the shell tourmaline, of course the black tourmaline from Namibia. Now, it took me a while to figure out the, the actual form of this guy or how one would display it. So we have some, uh, it would have sat on matrix on this section. I, I need to look at that under magnification, but I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking at some opal, opal A in there or highlight, uh, not to be mistaken with highlight, which would be fluorescent under shortwave UV light. So if I mention opal A in, it would be uh, about this back section, the mild coating over here. But now let's work out the crystallization. So there we have crystallization running across there, going across. Very in intricate uh, uh, formation this one has. Uh, crystallization, this, this at the bottom here is, is one large, almost a flat crystal running across there. Another side, so this would be the typical termination of that one. So we'd almost have the Foytite tourmaline effect on the back there. Then we have a crystal running across this side. Let me just zoom in on that, get that one in focus. There we have a better indication. And then of course the main crystal's head on top there. Abstract uh, 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 bends formation there. You see the, these tourmalines often make almost a bend star. Going across like this. So we go around like that. Actually a very, very vibrant, bright, lustrous specimen. Um, uh, black, uh, uh, of course the shell tourmaline all the way from Namibia, um, just outside Usakos, Karibib, um, we have the Eronga Mountain and this is where these guys hail, hail from or their provenance. 